All right, I'm going to lift my camera up a little bit. Okay, good morning. Good morning, everyone. So let's find a straight spine. And welcome to yoga this morning. Hope you are all doing so well. And ah, so finding a straight spine, what does that mean, right? Sometimes we feel like sitting like this, well, my spine is straight, right? So it's almost as if you have a little string on your chest and somebody's pulling your chest up, right? And then the shoulders just reach up gently back and down. Sometimes it helps to flip the palms up, slide the hands up on your lap and then relax. Ha. When we get our spine straight and we're not curled forward, we just have a lot more expansion. So today is about, you know, our flexibility, our strength and our expansion, right? Just like I said, that little cocoon, this is like springtime and I liken it to we've been in our little cocoon all winter and we're sort of starting to now, you know, slowly break out of it and yeah, you know, stretch and expand so that we can just like fly. Yeah, so we're gonna do that today. All right, so sitting with our hands up on our lap, good. Actually, let's just start to shake it out. Let's shake off all the stuff, our stiffness. You can shake your head, maybe your legs, your feet, your whole body. Just shake it off, shake, shake, shake. It just feels good to shake. You can close your eyes and just shake whatever it is you feel like your body wants to shake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, keep your eyes closed, float your hands back down onto your lap. So we did that for what, 30 seconds, 45 seconds? And notice if there's any difference. If you notice any energy, feel a little prana energy, a little tingling maybe in your body. It doesn't take much, right, to wake us up. Yeah, good. All right. So keeping your hand, your eyes closed if you like, or you can open your eyes. We're gonna just start to massage. You're gonna take your fingertips now and just um, bring, bring them to your skull and try to just press them gently into your skull and move the skin of your skull around with your fingertips in different places. Just moving that skin. Our skin is an organ. Yeah, so it needs attention as well. Good. And maybe just brush your forehead with your fingertips, like you're sweeping your bangs out of your, off your forehead. Just gently bring your hands to your ears, that little um, area that, um, that is called a tragus, tragus, that little cartilage right in front of your ear canal. Again, massage that. If you were here last Friday, we did the vagus nerve. This is a vagus nerve energy point here. And then moving your hands onto the lower cartilage of your ear, the concha that we talked about and just massaging that. Good, and then your whole ear. You can just, you know, take your, the backs of your ears and roll them around into circles. And then you can pull on your earlobes. Now bringing your fingers, your three fingers, pointer, middle, and, and ring finger behind your ear and just press gently behind your ear and then just draw your fingers down the sides of your neck. Yeah. This is something, just this is so good to do. Waking up in the morning to help us wake up a little bit. We can drag ourselves out of bed, maybe go to the bathroom, Throw some cold water on your face, cool water, doesn't have to be cold, and do this with your ears and neck. Good. And now bringing your hands behind your neck and just giving yourself a nice massage behind your neck, maybe up towards the occipital part of your skull where the skull dips in towards the neck. Yeah, bring a smile on your face. Just enjoy the self-care going across to the Back at the top of the back of the shoulders, maybe. Good. Nice. And then relax, float your hands down onto your lap, the palms up again. Again, eyes closed or just close them if you had them open. And just notice if you feel just slightly more alert. 
Yes, a little tingling in the head. Yeah, maybe warmth in the ears. Good. Yes. Just waking ourselves up. Good. And now, again, closing the eyes, we're going to bring our pointer fingers onto that little uh, tragus, that little cartilage, right? where our ear is. It's almost said as if you want to press into it and, cl and close your ears so you don't hear, right? That part. And we are going to be opening and closing. So relax your elbows down onto your chest. We're going to take a breath in and let it go. Take another breath in and let it go. Now we're going to Come into Brahmari breath. So we're going to sound like a B. And as we, we're going to take a breath in, and then as we breathe out, we're going to hum, right? And we're going to open and close that little tragus in and out so that our ears open and close as we slowly breathe out and hum. It will sound like a B. Do a couple together, All right? So take a breath in through your nose. And as you exhale through your nose, hum. And as you're humming, you're opening and closing your ears. Mm. Or you can just keep your ears gently closed by pushing that tragus in towards your opening of the ear canal. Yeah. A couple more here. Take a breath in. As you exhale, hum. Mm. And you're opening and closing your ears or just keeping them closed. Mm. Try to extend the exhale as long as you can and relax. Good. And let's do one more like that. Take a breath in and hum it out. Mm. And relax, relax your hands down onto your lap, keep your eyes closed. And again, that's a really nice breath if you're feeling anxiety or stress. You see little children doing that all the time. If they get really stressed out, they close their ears and they, mm, they just hum. Yeah, we, we are natural yogis. Over time, we just forget what to do to self-soothe ourselves. Yeah, good. All right, and then turning your hands, your palms down onto your lap. Let's take a nice big breath in and let it go. Feel the body relax on the exhale breath. Good. Finding that nice straight spine if it left. Good, take a nice breath in. Breathe out, and as you, next time, as you breathe in, slowly turn your head to the right, as far as it'll go. Yeah. Stretching the neck, taking your breath, maybe ujjayi breath in and out. And the next time you exhale, slowly float the head back forward. Next time you breathe in, slowly turn your head as far to the left as you can. Stretching the neck, feel the expansion on the right side, the contraction on the left side of the neck. Little smile on the face. Bringing ourselves into our, this moment. As you exhale, relax and slowly float your head back forward. On your next inhale breath, tuck your chin to your chest. Good. And exhale it out. Relax the shoulders. Inhale, let's do some head rolls. So slowly on an inhale breath, roll your right ear towards your right shoulder. And lift the head up and back slightly. And as you exhale, left shoulder, left ear. And forward. A nice and slow inhaling as you come to the side and up. Exhaling to the other side and forward. And smile on the face. Just 
notice how your neck feels today. Become aware of your head just floating through space. Next time you come forward, pause. Let's reverse. Inhaling, left ear to left shoulder, and up. And exhale, other shoulder, and down. Just circling the head. Nice and easy and slow. And noticing if there's any stiffness in the neck. Maybe the upper shoulders and just slow. If there's something that's really tender, you stop there and take a few breaths and continue on. Next time the head comes forward, pause. Yeah, good. Feeling your toes, wiggling your toes in your shoes. Press down into your toes as you lift the head back up. And now ever so slowly, feel free to slowly flutter your eyes open. Yeah. Blinking your eyes. Nice big blinks. Blink, 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 blink. Yeah. Good. And relax. Nice. Good. Doesn't that feel good? Just that. So simple. Good. All right. So arms, we're going to get into our upper body here. Let's relax our arms down alongside the body. On an inhale breath, lift your shoulders up to your ears. Press down into your feet, stretch your spine. Good, smile on the face, shoulders are smiling, face is smiling, and exhale. Keep the smile on the face, relax the shoulders, good. Inhale, we're gonna draw your right arm forward and then cross it over to your chest and then take your left hand either up high or below the elbow and just hug that arm into your chest. You can relax, relax your hand onto your shoulder there. That feels good, good. I like to be up high a little bit and press in a little bit higher up. Get that, um, those lymph glands under your arm nice and uh, cleansed. Yeah, good. Maybe take this hand, float it off your, um, your shoulder and just do some circles with that right hand in one direction. Good, and circle other direction. And then stretch a little bit more. Maybe stretch those right fingers to the left wall. And relax. And come out of the pose. Good. And we'll just wiggle out the shoulders. Left arm up across the chest. And then hug it in. Good. And here, let's just bring that left hand um, to a fist. And you can rotate that hand. So as we're hugging our arm in, we're paying attention to our wrist and our hand as well. And then reverse. And then relax the hand, just bring the fingers out and see if you can hug that arm in and stretch those left fingertips to the right side. And relax, ah, just come out of the pose and roll it out, good. We're gonna float both arms forward and flip our, actually let's lift our fingers up, spread your fingers wide and rotate them out and in. Inhaling out, exhaling in or reverse the, the breath, or follow the breath. Yeah, waving, waving to all your fellow yogis. <laughs> yeah, and hands back up, good. We're gonna now flip the palms up and we're going to bend the elbows and bring your fingertips to your shoulders. Let's do that a couple of times. Inhale forward, exhale, bend. Inhale, exhale. Just the, whatever you do, whatever movements you make, just bring your attention to your breath. It's time when the fingertips come to the shoulders, pause there and start to lift the elbows up Maybe press down into your feet gently to lift the elbows up. Ah, oh, like you're stretching in the morning. Yeah, good. And then we're gonna just do some circles here. So slowly bring the elbows out and down a little and forward. Just make a few circles slowly with the elbows, picking up our whole other upper body here. Mm, yeah. One more, and next time your elbows come down, let the elbows just float towards the floor. Let your fingers, your upper arms float down. 
collapse the arms now. Roll out the shoulders. Getting a little deeper into the arms here, we're gonna bring our hands into prayer position, Anjali Mudra. On an inhale breath, big breath in as you reach your arms up and just let them float out and down and back to the heart circle. These are called sacred circles. So inhale. Yeah, again, this expansion. We're coming out of our cocoons. Yeah, good. And the breath is the biggest thing to help us to get that energy. It gives us energy and it also calms us down. Yeah. And one more circle sweep here. Big breath in and exhale it out. Good. Again, finding our nice tall spine. Take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, press your belly button forward in your chest and just bring the body forward, laying your belly onto your thighs, looking down at the floor. Good. And then press down into your feet. Inhale, bring the body back up. Good. Exhale, forward fold again. Good. And inhale, back up. Again, keep the spine straight, not rounded. This time as we exhale, we're just gonna come about halfway. Good. We're gonna lay our right forearm onto our thighs, right above the knees with the palm up. Relax your left arm down alongside the body. Good. Toes are even, feet are about hip distance apart, looking down towards the floor. Good. On an inhale breath, press down into your right forearm as you start to float the left arm up. Again, as we're emerging from our cocoons, just bring that arm up as high as is comfortable. Looking to the side now, to the left, bringing that left arm up, good. And exhale, float that left arm back down, head down, good. And one more time, press gently into your right arm. Gives us leverage to let that left arm float out to the side and up. Maybe you bring your gaze up a little higher. Maybe the hand comes up a little higher. Belly buttons tucking in and breathe here. Two nice, long, deep breaths. Smile on the face, just enjoying this opening of our heart and our shoulders. And exhale, let that arm float down. Good. And now bring both hands to your thighs. Good. Let's just Press down into your thighs and slowly bring the body back up. Good. And roll out and just shake out a little bit any tension that you have built up. Checking in between each asana to just shake off the tension that we might have grabbed. Yeah. Take a breath in. Exhale again, feeling the belly slide forward and the chest come forward. The back stays straight and look down. Just come about halfway and now left arm, that lower arm just crosses over and rests onto the thighs above the knee, palm is up, right arm can relax down. Just let it hang down. Now, pressing down into your left forearm on an inhale breath, slowly float that right arm out to the side and just up as, just almost just as comfortable as it is. You're not straining here, you're not stressing. And then exhale, float it back down. And one more time on an inhale breath, float that right arm to the side and up. Maybe you go a little bit further. Maybe you look up a little higher. Maybe you decide this is not comfortable and I can't breathe, so I lower a little bit, taking care of yourself. And then as you exhale, slowly float that arm down. Good. And then bring both hands onto your lap. Good, press down into your off hands and slowly bring the body back up. Ah, good. We're gonna scoot forward in our chairs now. So come forward in your chair just a little bit. We're gonna take that right leg and step it out to the side. Ah. So just this, bringing our hands to the inside of our knees, pressing down into the pinky toe side of our uh, feet. And then just gently press your legs open, especially this right leg, and feel that stretch all on the inside of this thigh and your inner hip here, that where the, um, yeah, it's just getting a nice stretch. Hips get stiff. Good. 
and then relax the hands. We're gonna turn the body forward. We're gonna bring your right hand onto your left thigh. Relax the left arm down, turn the palm out. On an inhale breath, you're gonna float that left arm up towards the sky. Good, you can be in cactus pose here if you'd like. On an exhale breath, just lean over. So stretch long on that left side of your body. Left fingers reaching up to the upper corner of the room and breathe. Pressing down into your feet gently. Good, that left shoulder is not um, coming forward. It's just reaching back right in line with the ear. Good, and you can even look underneath the left arm if you'd like, good. And then inhale, slowly come back up. Exhale, just allow that arm, relax the shoulder to float down. Good, all right. And then you can heel toe, heel toe, or just simply step that right foot back next to the left. Let's do the other side. So stepping the left thigh out now. Good, and seeing how this side feels, yeah. And bringing the hands to the inside of your knees here. And just gently stretch the legs open comfortably. Pressing down into the pinky toe sides of your feet. Yeah, especially that left leg. Notice if there's any difference on this side. And breathe. And open. And relax now. Good. And turn the uh, chest forward here. Taking that left hand now to the right thigh. Relax the left right arm down. Turn the palm out. If at any point in time you feel like the stance is too wide, you can shorten the stance to come into your side bend, whatever you'd like. And then float that arm wherever it's comfortable. Up, you know, maybe it's here, maybe it's here, maybe it's here, wherever it's comfortable. Just take it to your your edge. Yes, take a breath in. As you exhale, just let the body float over to the left. Feeling that nice stretch from the right fingertips, press to the outside of the right uh, pinky toe and the left to stabilize you. Yeah, maybe you turn and look slightly underneath the right arm. Find your smile and your breath. Good. And then inhale, slowly come back up and exhale, relax that arm down. Ha, ah, good. Now taking that heel toe, heel toe, or just finding yourself back in to seated Tadasana. Nice tall spine, feet hip distance apart. I'm gonna come into Baddha Konasana now. So definitely being at the front of your chair here as much as you can with your sit bones still fully grounded. You're gonna bring your legs together. We're gonna drop our legs open, roll to the outsides of your feet and bring the bottoms of your feet together. Yeah, I know you can't see my feet in this, but as much as possible. I know we all have shoes on. So just, yeah, finding this opening and just start to flutter, just like, like a little butterfly. We're making our way out of our cocoon. Yeah, so just fluttering and breathing. Spine is tall. Just make this feel lovely. It's kind of like rocking. You can close your eyes here and just relax the legs and let them just flutter. Good. And relax the legs. Just stop the fluttering. Good. You can. You can keep your eyes closed or open. We're gonna come into a slight little forward uh, fold. So take a breath in. As you exhale, again, feel your belly come forward. Feel your chest come forward. Relax your legs open. Keep your hands onto your thighs here and just come forward a little bit. Guiding those legs a little bit further open. Yeah, and breathe. Again, find comfort here. Find your breath, yeah. And then gently pressing into the outsides of those feet and your palms, slowly float the body back up. Take your hands to the outside of your knees and guide your legs back together, feet on the floor. Good, all right, one more seated pose here for our hamstrings. Yes, I'm gonna scoot back so maybe you'll catch my, you probably won't. Okay, anyway, we're going to take our right leg and we're gonna bring the heel forward. So this leg is almost 
extended, there is a little bit of a bend here. And your toe is lifting up, good. Both hands onto this left thigh here. And on an inhale breath, get a nice tall spine. Now, if your chair is sort of digging into your thigh, you can just wiggle your hips around so you don't get that digging in. Yeah, get comfortable. Nice tall spine, toe is up. Nice big breath in, breathe out. Nice breath in. And the next time you breathe out, just draw your chest a little bit forward. Keep your shoulders back, your gaze nice and high. Yeah, just until you get a little bit deeper stretch in that back right hamstring, that big muscle. Yeah. And then get to your, your edge and, and then remain there with a few breaths. And then big, deep breath. Each time you exhale, maybe you come forward a little bit more. Just notice what's going on in your hamstring. Good. And on an inhale breath, press down into this left foot as the body floats back up. Okay, and you to have your nice tall spine. And now point your right toes towards the floor as if you want to touch the, the floor with the bottom of your toes. Probably won't, especially with shoes on, but just stretching that whole top of the ankle. Yeah, and this is also stretching our, our um, thigh here as well. Good. And then relax, slide that right, that right foot back next to the left, and now slide the left, that right foot as far back until the heel starts to wanna come up. So that right foot is sliding a little bit further back than the left. And you'll feel and gently press into your heel and you'll feel that nice stretch on the Achilles tendon and the calf. Yeah. Just glide that foot back, making sure that that right heel is grounded on the floor. Yeah. And just enjoy the stretch. Notice that as you breathe, each time you exhale, maybe your body allows you to relax that foot, that this upper leg, because the upper leg wants to protect, right? And the, you'll see that the stretch, you, you'll, your body will start to relax into the stretch. Yeah, good. And then slide that right foot now next to the left. And we'll do the left leg. So extend the left leg long. Good, toe is up. Yeah, the, there's a tiny little micro bend in the knee. And then both hands onto the right thigh. Inhale, lift the chest, get nice and tall here. Tall like a soldier, yeah. Take a breath in, breathe out, relax. Toe is up, maybe the toe reaches a little further back. Another breath in. And this time as you exhale, keep that nice straight spine and just hinge at your hips a little bit, bringing the shoulders and the chest forward a little bit. Yeah, keeping that spine straight. Noticing a little bit deeper stretch in the hamstring and enjoying and each time you exhale see if you can soften maybe go a little bit further forward with the body maybe not just stretching look at doing a lot of flexibility work today and then inhale slowly bring the body back up nice tall spine as you exhale just point the toe, like as if you wanna to touch the ball of your foot to the floor. Maybe some of you can do that, it's not happening for me. Yeah, but just pointing your toe like a ballerina on that left leg, good. And then relax and start to glide that foot back. It comes next to the right and then start to slide that left foot slowly back as far as you can ensuring that that left heel stays on the floor. If the left heel starts to come up and you're on the ball of your foot, you went too far. Yeah. And then pressing that foot into the heel, that left heel into the floor gently. Yeah. And then maybe a experiment with moving it a little further back, maybe a little further forward. Do you want to feel a stretch in that Achilles, which is right behind your ankle and your calf? and breathe just a couple breaths here, stretching out that Achilles. I don't know if any of you know anybody that has ruptured their Achilles, but it is not fun. 
We don't want to do that. This is why we stretch it. And relax and slowly bring the foot back next to the other one. Very nice. Nice stretching for flexibility. Let's, if you choose to do standing poses, you can remain in your chair if you'd like and just follow along with whatever you can do with us. Yes, certainly upper body. Standing with awareness, slide your heels back. Good. Lean your body forward. Press into your heels. When you use your heels and your feet, you take pressure off the knees and slowly come to a stand. Good. Let's meet behind our chairs here. You can slide your chair forward. You might need it late later. You can slide it out of the way if you choose. Yeah. And let's just shake it out. Again, shake it up, wake it up. That's one thing you can do. When you get up in the morning, just go to the bathroom, throw cold water on your face and shake it off. Yeah. And if you live with somebody, they may just join you. <laughs> And if you don't, join yourself. Yeah, and really go crazy. Yeah, good. All right, and relax. Bringing the feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Good. We're gonna soften your knees. Nice. And then let's just start to rock the body side to side. Inhaling and exhaling. Big breath. Right, and exhale breath detoxifies, calms down our central nervous system, kicks on the parasympathetic nervous system. It is important to breathe. One more. And relax. And keeping the feet just where they are here with our knees soft, we're going to come into breath of joy. So we're going to just let's start with our hands into prayer position, knees a little soft. On an inhale breath, straighten the knees and reach your arms into a Y. Lift your chest, look up. And as you exhale, just soften your knees. Give yourself a gentle hug, drop your head. Good. Inhale. Blossom open and expand. Yes, feel the whole body expand. And exhale, opposite arm on top. Just curl in, drop your head. Good. Inhale, this is the ultimate pose today. Expanding, coming out of our cocoon. Yeah. And exhale, so much to look forward to, but just really focusing on this moment. Look forward to this beautiful springtime, sunshine, light. Exhale, just come back in. Good. And one more time, we're gonna expand, look up, lift the heart, lift the palms up, spread the fingers wide. Yeah, and just fill yourself with gratitude for this moment, simply. That's it. And then exhale, bring your palms together and float your hands down to your heart. Good. Ha, I love that pose. Breath of joy. All right, keeping the legs again with soft knees, a little wider apart. We're gonna inhale and float the arms forward, nice and relaxed. And exhale, you're just gonna bow your body forward and just let it relax forward wherever it lands. It could be just your head down right? Maybe it's your shoulders, maybe it's your body. Good. And remain here for a few breaths. Arms can just dangle down towards the floor. You can rock them side to side. If you're feeling a little strain in the back, bring your hands to your thighs and breathe. Yes, not stretching too far. Just take this to wherever you want. On an inhale breath now, start to walk your hands up your thighs. Keep your head down. Walk the hands up, body starts to come up, chest, shoulders, and head. And roll out the shoulders. And bring your feet back to that hip distance apart. Let's shake it up. Yeah, shake it off. Nice, good. Okay, so 
So coming into um, some sun salutations here, we're going to do two versions of sun salutation. So for the first version, you may want your chair. You may want to use the back of your chair. Yeah, good. So finding yourself just behind your chair here. Good. I'm going to start into prayer position, mountain pose here. Nice, tall spine. Good. Just going to follow our breath. On an inhale breath, reach your fingers, your hands forward and reach them up. Maybe even look up slightly. And then as you exhale, soften the knees, send your hips back, bring your hands to your chair and bow the body forward into forward fold. Good. And now inhale, straighten the knees, bring the body up. Yeah, slowly up and inhale, float the arms forward and up. Bring the palms together and hands to heart. And we're gonna add a little lunge now. So on an inhale breath, fingers forward and up. You can do this seated. As you exhale, forward fold. You can use your chair if you don't want to use it and have this in your practice. Go ahead and just bring your hands to your thighs or your shins. Good. And now inhale, slowly come just about halfway up. And exhale, take your right foot and step it back on the ball of the foot. Bend into the left knee just slightly, coming into a little lunge. I'm gonna take this out of the way, but you sit there, you, you continue to hold on. So your foot is just on the ball, yeah. And then inhale, lift the heart. If it's available to you, lift one arm up, maybe both. Finding yourself in a high lunge here. And exhale, bring your hands back to your chair, look down. On an inhale breath, step the right foot forward. On an exhale breath, step the left foot back now and find your lunge on the left side. Once you find your lunge, inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Good, exhale it out. On an inhale breath, maybe one arm comes up, maybe both if you have if you're feeling sturdy in your leg. Exhale, bring the hands down to your chair. Lean forward. On an inhale breath, step that back foot forward. Exhale it out. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Maybe look up between your hands. Maybe even lean back slightly. And then bringing your hands back together above your head. Exhale back to Samasiti. Nice. Gonna do that one more time. Good. All right, hands on the back of your chair here. Gonna inhale, reach your arms forward and up. Big breath. Exhale, forward fold. Hands can land on the back of the chair and drop the head. Good. Inhale this time. We're gonna step the left foot back. Good. And then lift the heart. Find your lunge. Inhale, maybe one arm comes up or both. Yeah, breath in. As you exhale, bring your hands to the back of your chair. Inhale, step the left foot forward. Exhale, step the right foot back. Good. Again, look up with the heart. Inhale, maybe one arm comes up, maybe both. Exhale it out. Inhale. Exhale, hands come to the chair. Inhale, step that back foot forward. Exhale it out. Inhale, draw the arms forward and up. Look between the hands, maybe lean back. On your next exhale breath, bring the body back up. Bring the hands together and exhale, float the prayer hands to heart. Yeah, and close your eyes here. Coming back to our center. Noticing the heartbeat. And relax the arms down now. Go ahead and float the eyes open. Good. All right. So we're going to do another little version of sun salutation. It's really, um, actually, I'm changing my mind. I think we're going to, uh, let's do, um, uh, we're going to do a little balancing pose here. So you may need your chair here. Okay. 
So we're just going to begin with, this is going to be sort of that space and time as we walk because it's starting to get nicer out. Probably going to be taking some more walks. Hopefully we will be able to do that, have more space even after dinner now because it's light out. Best time to walk is after we eat. Um, just for like 10 or 15 minutes right after you eat just a nice gentle walk it really helps with digestion all right so let's just start a little march here you can hold on to the chair and then we're going to start to turn the head one way and the other as we march so let's just slow down the march turning the head to one side other yeah opposite the leg that's coming up is where the head goes yeah so just see how that feels. Good. And now come back to center. And now maybe we attempt to do it without holding onto the chair. So finding that march again, you can use your arms a little bit. And just as you slowly walk, turning your head side to side, make it slow, see how that feels. A little bit more of a balancing act here, right? Having to stabilize yourself a little bit. Good. This is really good for that catching when you're surprised by stepping on something funny. Yeah, and come back to center. Good. All right, if that felt okay, if you were a little, if this was a little uh, of a challenge for you and you prefer here, we're gonna stay here and just do that same thing, that march. And now we're gonna just attempt to step back from our chair just a little bit. You can always keep your fingers on your chair. Now we're actually gonna walk and turn our head. So just taking a couple slow steps and turn your head side to side as you walk, using your arms, alternating. And, come back. and then we're gonna do it backwards. Yeah, that could be a little bit of a challenge. If that's a challenge, don't turn your head as you're walking back. There's always your chair there. You can catch your hand onto your chair if you're feeling a little wobbly. Yeah, and then pause. Good. And let's just walk ourselves back to our chair. So turning our head. It's a safe environment to practice this in. And again, if this is a little bit of a challenge, let's just come back to where we're in line with our chair. If that was a little bit of a challenge, a good way to practice that is just to have, you know, yourself holding on. It's, it was really helpful, again, for proprioception, where we are in space. Yeah. And it's also helpful if we're laying and we're getting, we get up in the middle of the night, you know, our body can quicker write itself. If it's like, wait, what are you doing here? So it's really a good thing to practice. Okay. Coming into a little um, bone density building, a little stability here. So feet about hip distance apart. We're gonna just rock the weight into this inside leg. Engage the kneecap, engage the glute muscle of this standing leg, and let's bend the right knee. Yeah, keep the spine nice and tall. So we're not dumping into our pose here. Our leg is engaged, our spine is nice and tall. Our right hand can be on the hip, just for a place to be here. Let's see if we can float the toe off and just rock that leg, the lower leg, forward and back. Yeah, so this leg's now really having to move. If that's too much, then you stop here and just rock the foot forward and back and have your toe on the floor. Yeah, good. And now let's engage the whole leg and almost feeling like the, all the action is coming from your hip joint. Yes, and it can be little, right? Or you can do big. Try to keep the upper body nice and straight. Good. And let's take a break, all right? And let's just do a little march, little shake, shake it off, especially the standing leg. Yeah. Now we're gonna do, we haven't done this in a little while, our figure eights with our knees. So again, we're gonna have all the weight here into the standing leg, bend the right knee, get yourself set up, get this leg, this standing leg nice and engaged, right? That'll keep the hip happier. Yes, nice tall spine, hand on hip. And then maybe you float that foot up, right? And we're going to rock that knee side to side. So almost as if you're doing a figure eight with that kneecap in the air. 
that's not feeling good, again, you can just side to side here with your toe on the floor. Yeah. And breathe. Did we stop breathing? We need to breathe. Just a couple more. Starting to feel that hip. Yeah. Just smile. That takes the tension out of the pose as well. Dump some serotonin into our brain. One more. We got it. And relax. Yeah. Ha. Shake it out. Good. All right. Again, there's always options. There's always options in yoga. It's just about moving and breathing. You can just think, I need to move a little, whatever's comfortable, but breathe. Yeah. The minute we stop breathing is when we should be breathing harder, deeper, rather. Yeah. Okay. Other side, same thing here. So, and you'll notice maybe a different on one side or the other. So, right now into this inside leg, your right leg, bend the left knee. Good. Engage this kneecap. So, squeeze the kneecap up. You'll feel the whole leg tighten, your, your glute engage back here. Yeah, hand on hip. Yeah, maybe you float the leg up and just rock it forward and back. See how that goes. Want to take it further? Just the whole leg. Try to keep this upper body nice and steady, not going back and forth with the upper body, but just hinging at the hip here. Yeah, smiling. There we go. Good. And relax. Good. And shake it off. Wiggle it out. Kick it out. Wiggle it out. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now, same thing. We're going to do our figure eights with this left knee. So wait into the right leg. Engage the right leg so it can keep you steady. Bend the left knee. Good. Lift that left knee up. Good. And start your slow figure eights. Maybe they're tiny little figure eights. Maybe that get a little bit bigger. Yeah. Notice the difference between one side and the other. Notice if you are breathing. Notice if you're smiling. Notice if you're wishing I would stop this already. <laughs> and then you can laugh. Good. And whew, release it out and shake it out. Good, nice work, everybody. That stability stuff gets, keeps us strong, keeps us healthy. Let's bring our legs a little bit wider apart. Soften the knees. Might feel nice to do your hip rotations here. Softening, making sure those knees stay nice and soft. Don't take it too far. Yeah. And then reverse, go the opposite direction. Even following your breath here. And relax, good. Bring feet back to that hip distance apart. Clasp your hands behind your back. Yeah, so you're just interlacing your fingers. Maybe your palms touch. Maybe your thumbs just are straight towards the floor. Good. And then stretch your shoulders back. Lift your gaze, press into your toes, and breathe. Feeling the expansion in your chest, your collarbones your heart, really good pose to wake up that big vagus nerve that runs from our brain into our gut. Wake it up, shake it up. And as you exhale, relax, Un unlace your hands. One more time, just give yourself a little shake, a little pat on the shoulders. You're doing such a good job. Good. And let's make our way to seating, sitting down with awareness. Good. And with awareness, meaning not just plopping down, right? Sending the hips back, pressing into the heels, dropping the hips as, well, as slowly towards the chair as you can. Maybe you lightly hold on to the chair, pressing into those heels to float your hips down. And we've landed, everyone. Okay. Okay. So just coming into a little uh, figure, a uh, little twist here. So we're gonna take our right leg and either cross at our ankles, if it's comfortable for you to cross your legs, 
Uh, that gets a little bit more into that sciatic, but if this is not comfortable, we're just crossed at the ankles. Good. We're gonna find a nice tall spine. So if you decided to cross up here and you're hunched over a little bit to get your legs crossed, you can either maybe like just lift them it up a little bit or cross here. So find your legs, whatever you choose. Nice tall spine on an inhale breath. We're gonna float the arms forward and up. Good. And look up between the hands. As you exhale, bring the head back down, relax the shoulders, turn just gently at your waist and relax the arms, just let them float down. So not pressing into the arms here, we're just turning the head to the right, feeling that rotation at the waist and breathe into your belly. Being very mindful to not overturn, to not overextend in this twist. Yes, good massage for the gut, internal organs, smile on the face. And as you exhale, relax the body, slowly bring the body back forward and uncross. All right, same thing on the other side. So you're gonna choose your leg on this side. So ankle, cross over, maybe here, depending on where you, where, you know, what you wanna open up on this left hip, yeah. And then inhale, float the arms forward and up. Get a nice tall spine. Look up between the hands. Maybe even lean back just slightly. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bring the head back down, relax the arms, and turn at your waist. Feel that turning from your hips and your waist. Relax the arms down, turn the head to the left, and breathe. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Yeah. One more breath in. And breathe out. Slowly bring your body back forward. Nice. Slowly uncross. Good. Gliding your hands back. Now you're scooted a little forward in your chair here, just a little bit. Grab behind you, grab something. Take a breath in, stretch your shoulders back, stretch your arms back, lift your chin slightly, keep the back of your neck long, just lift the chin slightly. And as you exhale, just allow your body to fall forward here. Yeah, relax the body completely now. Long, slow, deep breath. Let the whole weight of the body just drop forward. Stretch the back of the neck, the shoulders, back. Gently pressing into your feet, slowly float the body back up. Good. And let's get ready for Shavasana. So in seated Shavasana, you wanna scoot your hips to the back of your chair. Feel your back supported, especially your low back. Feel free to lay down here. Take a few minutes or a few seconds here to settle yourself into final relaxation. If you're seated, palms are up on your lap, a little bit higher up on your thighs to allow the shoulders to relax back. If you're laying down, legs are wide, a little bit wider, arms away from your body, palms up as well. And take a last few seconds here to make any final adjustments and then find yourself coming to stillness. Relax the whole body. Whole body's relaxed. Aware of your environment, sounds, 
become aware of your body, this gift. Just take a breath in gently through the nose and slowly breathe out through the nose, extending the exhale breath and then releasing the breath. Relax your toes and your feet. Relax your legs. Feel the entire weight of your body on your chair or the floor. Relax your belly, stomach, heart, shoulders, arms, fingers, back of your neck. your eyes just gently drop back into the eye socket. Find that gentle little smile. Take a gentle breath in. Breathe out. Relax the whole body. Whole bodies relax. Whole body is relaxed. Enjoying this moment. Bring awareness to any thoughts. And just be in harmony with your thoughts. Just let them be. Allow your mind to expand. Expand out into all four corners of the room. Expand out into the sky above your head. Expand out into the universe with the stars. that gentle smile on your face. We are joy. We are contentment. That is our true nature. Feel free to remain here for as long as you'd like. Should you choose to come out of the pose, take a breath in and let it go. Take another breath in. Start waking yourself up, wiggling the toes, the fingers, rocking the body side to side. Hmm. Take 
again if you choose to come out of the space bring your body back to center good float your hands into anjali mudra which is prayer position rest your thumbs onto your heart take a nice big deep breath in and breathe out bow your forehead towards your fingertips in closing today's practice with this, freedom is when all wants melt away. They either happen or they don't. This is contentment and contentment is liberation. Let us liberate ourselves. When you feel ready and complete at your own pace, gently blink your eyes, open and close. Let the light in slowly as you lift your head. Thank you all for coming and taking care of yourself today, for practicing together. Reminder that there's meditation tomorrow morning. If you'd like to come, 1045. Have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste.